Now you finished up a series ranking the positions in the draft class. Let's quickly go through the position rankings because I want to get into some names of, um, of some of the areas that the Browns can target. So take us through the position rankings first. All right, well, last time I was on, I had numbers 5 through 11 done. So I look at number four, corner is an interesting position. The Browns don't need a corner, at least not until the later rounds, but very interesting group. Uh, Derek Stingley looked like he had number one overall potential after his freshman season. And that was the year when US, LSU excuse me, won the national championship with Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, Patrick Queen, Justin Jefferson, Clyde Edwards-Alaire, you name it. LSU had studs, and Derek Stingley was almost as good as any of them as a freshman. Tailed off some due to injuries, and that's why he's not necessarily the number one guy. Ahmad, Ahmad Sauce Gardner from Cincinnati is kind of pushing him there. That's a fun race I'm going to kind of keep an eye on. Number three, I got a receiver. Um, I won't talk too much about that. We've already talked a lot about, about that, that I think it's a group that's very deep. May not have a true top five guy, but they have a lot of first rounders at the position. Number two, offensive tackle. I mean, I look at Evan Neal from Alabama. The guy's got a very good shot to be the number one overall pick for a Jacksonville team that needs to protect Trevor Lawrence to find out if he's going to be the franchise guy. After that, you guys got, got, got guys like Ikem Ekwonyu from um, North Carolina State who could be a very early pick. Charles Cross from Mississippi State who could be a top 10, top 15 guy. Trevor Penning from Northern Iowa. Nicholas petit Frere from Ohio State. I could go on and on with offensive tackles who could be all over the place. Another guy I love, Daniel Falele, 6'7", almost 400 pounds, offensive tackle. This is a guy I, I love, you know, reading about throughout college, you know, what he did in Minnesota, and it's good to kind of see him, you know, progress and look like a top uh, 40, 50 guy. Number one, edge rusher. This edge rusher class is everything you could possibly dream of, you know, in terms of drafting. I mean, top-end talent. We're talking Aiden Hutchinson from Michigan, Kayvon Thibodeau from Oregon, they, got bo they both have number one potential. After that, George Karloftis from Purdue. you got Trayvon Walker from Georgia. Jermaine Johnson the second from Florida State. And David Ajabo from Michigan. Those are, those are first-round guys. And there could be plenty more in that group, not to mention a very deep group on day two that we could talk about a little bit as well. My day Sanders of Cincinnati. Drake Jackson of USC. Josh Pascoe of Kentucky. I mean, it's an incredible combination of top-end talent and depth at edge rusher and any team that's looking for one will have no problem trying to pick one out the only the only problem would be which one do you want because there's so many good ones in this draft and it's absolutely sensational the depth of that position that's why it's number one to me in this class well let's talk about the edge rushers obviously an area the browns will be looking for who um who do you think are some names to to listen out for um edge rusher for the browns I've been a big my Jay Sanders guy from Cincinnati. I think, you know, he's played a big role in, you know, their defensive performances. He's really good, you know, generating pressure from the quarterback. Another guy you see in a lot of mock drafts, Drake Jackson from USC. I think he fits the timeline thing that we see for the Browns. And we've seen in the, the last two years of drafts, Andrew Barry has leaned more younger with his early picks. And Drake Jackson, you know, he's got a potential to be really good. He's got – he had five sacks last season. I know it's not great, but still solid numbers. He brings a lot of uh, tools to the table. There's depth of that at edge rusher. And, I mean, who knows who we're going to see really emerge, you know, at the NFL Combine. Boy, Mafe from Minnesota was outstanding at the Senior Bowl. If he goes out and, and lights it up at the Combine, he's got a shot to sneak in the first round as well. and Or not, maybe early second round guy. Maybe he's another option. In truth, it just comes down, I think, to personal preference for Andrew Berry, but if that's where they want to go in the second round or even the third round, there's no shortage of guys to pick from. What about wide receiver? Another position. Who are some names we should listen out for uh, that might be connected with the Browns? Again, I'll go second round. Guys, I like. I really like David Bell out of Purdue. I mean, I think he's your prototypical outside receiver. Same school that produced Ron Moore, although they're very different players. Bell is very perimeter-oriented. He doesn't. He's not as fast and as explosive as Ron Nailmore, but he's a very volume-oriented guy, can make plays after the catch. You look at what he did against Iowa. Iowa knew he was going to get the football every time, and they still could not stop him. And that's a big reason why Purdue was able to pull off that upset in Iowa City, which, is, as we know, is not an easy place to play. I, I also love some of the explosive players, particularly Wandale Robinson from Kentucky. He was a Nebraska transfer. He's explosive, just absolutely dynamic with the ball in his hands. 
but he's more than a speed guy. He's more than just a guy who you can have him run down the field or, you know, throw him a bubble screen. He can turn a, a two yard reception into 20 yards. He's a guy who can do a little of everything. He's got some good tools in his tool basket and he really improved his stock while at Kentucky also. And uh, Calvin Austin from Memphis, um, I watched his highlight film right before the senior bowl. It took me three plays to fall in love with Calvin Austin and his speed. There was a, it was a jet sweep he had against Navy. He split a triple team without even, you know, making guy miss. He just ran right through three Navy defenders on his way to the end zone. Outstanding speed. I know teams are looking for the next Tyreek Hill. I think you're, I think that's a little much to say when you're trying to compare any species or Tyreek Hill, but I think, when it comes to pure speed, there's a lot to love in Calvin Austin's game. So, again, like edge rusher, there's a slew of guys they could pick from on day two if if, they, if for whatever reason they don't want to go for day one, even or if even, like I said, they want to double dip at the position. 